Hello everyone, my name is the Ember Knight, or Ember for short. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Cannibal Abduction. Um, the game just loaded in like this, so I guess I'll play Cannibal. One thing I've never mentioned on the channel, I'm a big pop combo fan. I've played Blood Wash, No One Lives Under the Lighthouse, Stay Out of the House. Non Massacre. I don't remember that. That was another one I played, but I don't remember it. I mean, I forgot. Oh, yeah, Christmas Massacre. I recorded that, but there was no point in really recording the other ones since I've already played them. I don't know what happens, but this one I'm going in blind. Like I said, I absolutely love Papa Combo games, they're so well done. Man, I've been needing this for so long. Pop didn't even notice. Too busy on the bottle, as usual. Hell yes! Just the road and I. What the? No, 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 baby, don't do this to me now! Shit! Ah. <coughs> uh. Great. What a day to end up stranded, huh? Oh, thank God. Can I get a lift? This heap of junk just died on me. Sure thing, son. But I wouldn't leave your vehicle out here. That's asking for trouble. My home's just over yonder, and lucky for you, this old man's a mechanic. We could tow her to my garage. Would you? Mighty kind of you, sir. Grab some rope and tie it good and tie it to the truck now. Welcome to the Tucker Farm, son. Must be pretty boring around these parts. <laughs> you would be surprised. Some things happen out here folks wouldn't believe. Alright, let's pop the hood and take a gander. Like people getting abducted by cannibals? Heavens to Betsy. The engine's in a right mess. Pop's gonna kill my ass. Don't worry yourself now. I'll make you an offer. I see you got a toolbox in your back seat. The old lady's been bugging me to fix an old wardrobe for weeks, but the garage has me busy as a cat on a hot tin roof. You ain't no mechanic, that's for sure. You a carpenter by trade? My pop's profession. I know my way around to hammer and nail. Sounds like we have a deal. Come, let's get inside. He's just walking a minute with trap, After basically. <laughs> So, is this the wardrobe? It sure is. Should be easy work for you, right? I reckon I'll have this done in an hour. <laughs> there the boy. I'll get to fixing your vehicle. It'll run better than ever. Oh, before I forget, the wife listens to her favorite radio station around this time. Don't want to annoy the old goat. Better keep the door closed if that's all right with you. Sure, man. All right, let's get to it. The job is almost done. Man's getting dark. Does this old house have electricity or even lights? I'll ask the farmer if he has something like this place, otherwise I can't finish. Control Henry. Interact. Right, I wanted to... Okay, I'm back. Um, I wanted to check if I could, you know, like change it to first person. 
since every proper combo game I've played, I've played it in first person. I mean, I don't mind these controls. I don't mind these like, camera angles. I've been playing a lot of um, Silent Hill 2, well, not a lot of. I'll just start playing it again. Silent Hill 2, the original. How strange, the door's locked. Anybody there? Nobody answers. I think I may have something open in my toolbox. See, I don't mind these controls. I mean, I'm used to them. I played Resi 1 with tank controls. I played Red um, Sound Hill 2. Let's just see. It is useful for clipping hair or unlocking cheap locks. Henry's Journal. So apparently the game length for this is only an hour and 37 minutes. God. How can we need a flashlight? You got the flashlight. Equip the flashlight to reveal items that can be grabbed. Keep in mind that Henry is easy to be noticed when the flashlight is on. It's a triangle with flashlight. Ah, oh, yeah, it is. I just need to equip it. Got it, yeah. Your mother and I are leaving for town. We will be back later tonight. Great news. I have a nice young stray locked in Fred's bedroom. Take care of it as soon as possible. Don't play with the food. They locked me in that bedroom on purpose. Don't play with the food. What the hell are those girls talking about? Seems like I'm alone for now, but I don't have much time. I must get the fuck out of here. It's locked. It can be opened with a common key. The knob is missing. This is a good lock, I won't be able to lock pick it. God, this is... This is some, like, lava face type of stuff, but I love it. Maybe there's something in here, Serge? Yes, please. There's nothing useful here. This is the entrance door, it's locked. Well, obviously, it would be locked. God, the door's locked from the other side. The thing I don't like about kind of I well not kind of abduction in general, just proper combo games, is when the enemy comes after you, they scream. A brand new VHS tape. You've got the VHS tape. Use the VHS tape on the TV to save the game. Keep in mind that every tape has a single use. Use them wisely. I might as well use it straight away, just because. <clears throat> Clock is missing one of its hands. I mean, I beat um, Resi 7 on Madhouse, so I don't mind. Need a hammer. Doors locked from the other side. I can, I can deal with like, um, single use VHS tapes. There was some tape in there. That has to be useful.
This lock leads cheap, I need some to around lock pick it. What the hell? That's a fucking arm. I'm not touching it. It's rusty but it still works. The water won't come out. It's locked. Can we open a common cave? Oh, I bet you there's body parts in the fridge. I'm not opening that fridge. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing, I'm not gonna mess an empty I said kind of man out of the soda. I'm not gonna turn that off because I know what's gonna happen. February 3rd, before going to bed last night, I found Aunt Mary sitting by our living room, really alone. She was staring at the video with a blank look on her face and turning the, the dial over and over like she was trying to find a specific frequency. When I told her good night, she ignored me as if she was lost in her own little world. Uncle Bob told me she had been up all night. Maybe I should ask her about it. February 4th, I couldn't help but ask Aunt Mary why she opened, why she was up so late. As she opened her mouth to speak, she became overjoyed and giddy like a child. She told me I finally did it. It's the radio, you see. I can contact to it with the radio. It talks to me. When I asked her who... It was. Her sweet, joyful smile faded as a blank stare I seen last night return like a soul got sucked out of her body. All of a sudden, I left the room and we both ignored each other for the entire day. I'm starting to really worry about her. I think she needs to see a doctor. Yeah, before I mess with the radio, let me... The water won't come on. Let me, like, check my surroundings. I've shit myself already. <laughs> Have you? Don't blame me, to be honest. Yo, pizza in there. There's a bandage. You got the bandage. The door's locked. Unlock. Right. I know what's going to happen as soon as I turn this off. It's probably going to come from like there. Like, I don't know if the, well, the flashlight should be showing it. Like, where I'm aiming in the kitchen. Okay, I swear to God, if I'm messing with this video and someone jumps behind us. Okay, so... I've just looked it up. There's apparently stuff like in here. There's a bronze key there. Oh, fuck. There was also apparently a hammer upstairs. I am not ready for the noise of this game. I. Puppet combo games really know how to use that noise as well. Well, that wasn't there last time. I 
I shouldn't have used that there. I should have. <laughs> I should have got the hammers off the nails first. Open menu while hidden. What? February 15th, Uncle Bob was washing his truck in our backyard yesterday, which is strange as he usually gets it waxed and washed down in town. When I looked closer, it became clear why the front of the vehicle was a complete mess. The front bumper was hanging off, the radiator grill had some major dent in it to top it off. Both were covered in blood and what looked like small chunks of something stuck in the gaps. Uncle Bob would complain for days if a truck gets even a scratch in it, but he never mentioned it even once, and no one in the family brought it up during dinner. February 25th. This shit isn't funny anymore. I was bringing the laundry basket down to the basement to load the washing machine, and I noticed the entry to the laundry room had been blocked off by a bookshelf, and the washing machine disconnected. When I tried to push the bookshelf to the side, I wouldn't budge an inch. I politely asked everyone, for a reason all they do is ignore me. Every single day they ignore me. It's been weeks of this silent treatment. Bullshit. Is this some sick joke I don't know about? March 3rd. I've forgotten the last time I've had a good night's sleep. I hear the video almost every night now. As everyone gathers around and listen until the early hours of the morning. I snuck down to get a peek at them. But as I got close, I stepped on a loose floorboard. Suddenly their, hen, their heads turned to look at me at the same time like a pack of wolves spotting their next prey. They all invited me to join them. As I stood frozen in fear, I was shaking so bad. But I managed to refuse them and go back to bed. What's happening to my family? I'm not going crazy. Something is wrong with them. First it was Aunt Mary. And now everyone man's lost their fucking minds. I'm going to get the bottom of this. I fear what will happen if they catch me snooping around. But I have to try something. I just need to wait for the right time. Wait, so... Yeah, there's not many diaries then. So this could be a quite short game. Okay, before I do anything else... I just want to get that thing. So I'm going to guess, Fred was the only sane one in the family. You know, everyone else is just fucking crazy. It's locked. Can we open for common key? April 14th, Aunt Mary and Uncle Bob would be back from their trip and wouldn't won't be back from their trip until tomorrow and Philip shouldn't be a problem. Almost every day when the clock strikes 8.45 pm. Philip goes to the basement and we don't see him until the next day. He's been doing this for weeks. I'm counting on him doing it again. I'll update it later if I find anything. Update. As soon as I heard the basement door shut, I rushed to the radio. I wasn't sure what I was looking for, but I started twisting the dial just like Aunt Mary did that night. I can't fully explain what I found, but some channels had strange sounds I've never heard before. It sounded like some kind of animal singing, humming. It kept repeating the same three patterns in, order, in the same order. I could tell because each pattern had a distinct lymph and tone. Is this the eighth my family talks about? This makes sense. I can't hear it say anything. I just don't understand any of this. Right, so noted that there is a hiding spot. Fred seems like the only sane one. So the radio must have like messed with their heads or something. But I guess it's a gorgeous lockbox. There's a sucker that opens. I wonder if there's something around that could fit it. A bobby pun may come in handy. My pockets are full. Ah, oh, leave some stuff in your toolbox, right? Okay, well, let me put that in there and that. Go 
want the bobby pin. Well, I don't really know what else I could use the bobby pin. I don't think I've seen anything I can use the bobby pin on. I would have thought that would maybe be right and worked. A bunch of old books. These are separated from the rest. One is about exalt cooking and everything else. And they are about human anatomy. That's because they want to know what the best part of tumor is to eat first. They got to have their supper. Yeah, it must be this door then. Jiggle, jiggle. Well, I just want to say now would be the perfect time to jump scare me. It's a picture of Johnny Boy. I remember watching him live with the crickets when I was younger. May 13th, I was playing with Daisy today. She's the only member of the family I can trust. She was so happy wagging her tail and playing with her toys. Gave me comfort. I've not felt in a long time. She reminded me of when things were normal, but something is not right with her. It's her breath. She licked my chin and the stench nearly made me throw up. What the hell are they feeding her? It doesn't even smell like dog food. Oh boy. May 20th, I'm getting the hell out of this house. I cannot recognize my family anymore. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. Blood soaked bandages wrapped around their arms, resting on the table with blood still wet. They cut off their own fucking arms. Uncle Bob grabbed my arm and placed a cleaver into my hand. He sat back down and they all looked at me. He asked me if I wanted to do it too. I threw the cleaver on the table and ran up to my room. I have all my bags packed now and I'm ready to leave this hellhole. Uncle Bob, Aunt Mary, Philip, I promise I'll be back with help. Please be safe, Daisy. So that's why the dude's got no arm. Nope. <laughs> oh god, the dog's just out the door. The dog's like... <laughs> oh no, that is much worse. <laughs> I'm not going in there. I'm sorry, Papa. Yeah, I'm just gonna save my game because I've made so much progress I wouldn't even know where to start if I was to die. Such a little dot. Right, I don't. Mm. Into the basement. I bet I'm gonna hide. There's a key here. We've got the common key. The water is not flowing, I need a rebel to restore the flow. Why do you need water? Who will leave all these good books in the basement? How strange. I mean, I can guarantee you, as soon as I try to leave this basement, the dude's going to come up and I'm going to hide in the blogger. Fuck, I'm scared. Oh, shit. I was just quickly looking, um, there really isn't much to do then, for ending wise, like, it's pretty much like half of the game already done.
like so. Fuck. No, it wasn't this one. Wait, was it? No. Shit, like, like I said, honestly, like, walking around is gonna kill me so badly. It's in here, I need to be. Use this. Please give me the doorknob. I want to go upstairs. What is that? What kind of dog food. Okay. Maybe the dog's got the doorknob. Dog man, God damn it. There's a dog food bowl right here. Maybe not screw the dog then. Don't screw the dog. That papa probably was a good papa. Before he was fed human remains. All I can really say is you want to hope that the dog actually still eats dog food. Also, I'm pretty sure static means, like, it's getting the monsters, well, not the monster, the enemy's getting closer. dog food in. Daisy is playing on subject, looks like a doorknob. I am so bad at controlling, like, tank controls. Especially when it comes to running. Use the donut, use the donut. I hope he's frozen in time when I'm doing this. Oh. 
Okay, let me hide. For a little bit. It is just one game. Nothing interesting in here. Okay, well, let's just tread carefully and quietly. Because you never know, you might just be like right around the corner. Oh, the valve. I got the valve. I guarantee that is the code. Oh, I've got another common key. I didn't even realize. I don't know where I got that. Probably got off of that shelf, to be honest. A bandage. How nice. Oh wait, shit, I've just realized this key actually opens up all the cup it's just not it's not a one time thing. I d I don't even know how I didn't notice that. Well I might as well just go around and open all the cabinets. Right, so there's bandies in there. Okay, let me just go get the water flow on. God, someone's playing MC outside my house. I don't know if that's picked up on the, on the video, but my god. Scratching my ear. What's in the thing? That's a jug, right? Good to know. One one. One one two two. One one two zero. One one two zero. <laughs> one. One. Oh, it says one one two zero. Mm, I'm gonna say it's probably whatever the notes, whatever the thingy is emitting. Like, let me check Fred's note real quick. Wait, that's not it. Same three patterns, right. I best get the save. Like, that should be my main goal right now. Right. One. Seven four two maybe. Do you have a seven five two or seven four two? Two is definitely the last one. Let's just try it. Seven four two. Seven five two. That is a pretty good way of like figuring out the combo. I like that. Looks like a rope. <laughs> Disgusting. Thankfully, it's clean. Someone has been counting the days. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Six, 63 days. Well, oh, I just booked that out, idiot. May 21st, I woke up in the attic. I can't believe my own family did this. As a kid, I used to hide here when I was bald. Now I'm trapped here. They want me to cut my arm off. Fuck that. I won't do it. I won't give in. Dear God, save me. I'm so hungry. Uncle Bob offers me a plate of food every day, but I refuse. The sight of it makes me want to puke. Bob says it's pig meat, but I don't believe a word he says. I know it's human. May 26th. I'm so fucking weak. I couldn't resist anymore. I'm so hungry. I ate it. It tasted fine. Was he telling the truth? Was it pig meat? Or am I so hungry I can't even tell anymore? I don't know what I think. I feel like I'm losing it. June 20th. Aunt Mary came to wish me a happy birthday. Today she gave me a bundle of rope. If she gave me a way out, I broke down crying. As I hugged her, begging her over and over to let me out of here, I was useless. He just smiled at me and left the room. I'm a burden to them. They can't let me leave, but some part of them can't kill me themselves. I think July, I think it's 23rd, like it even matters anymore. I refuse to use this rope. I've been holding this knife for feels like hours. Maybe if I just give them what they want, maybe I could have a chance. What am I going to do with rope? There's a suspicious loose break, but I can't reach it. Okay. Suspicious loose break. Okay, well, let's not, like, give up just yet. Right, because... The water flow is, has been restored. Right, so if I get the... What if I get the book, the jar, the bucket, whatever it was, the jug, out the kitchen, fill up with water, then throw it on the fire? Then maybe I can combine the, the brick with the, um, with the rope, turn it all right, and then just smack them over the head or something. <clears throat> You've got the jug, baby. Yeah, 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 you got the jug. This could very much not work, but who knows. Yeah, you don't... I'm pretty sure you don't combine stuff. There's a hidden button here. Press. I wonder what the button did. My exact question... So I guess I'm gonna have to do a bit of exploring. <laughs> Dude was hiding in the basement, fuck! <laughs> I don't blame you for laughing, that was pretty funny. Oh shit. comes to it, I don't actually mind tanking a hit. Okay, actually, let me have a look into it. Right. So, it did do something in the basement. So, I was, I was right. You better not be down these fucking stairs, I swear to God. I know I say that a lot, but... You better not. Into the basement. So what I thought was, I would use the the brick to smash the window. Oh boy. 
for the family, one cut limbs, two put in the refrigerator. For Dizzy, remove ba- remove bones, grind, put in cans. For it, remove organs, throw in the pit. Remember to bring the clothes and belongings to the black yard so we can burn it all. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. I don't want to end this way. Bookworm! Oh yeah. The meat grinder was used recently. Is it all human meat in that basket? Mm. Damn it, I don't even have the thingy. The door doesn't have a lock it up from somewhere else. Must lead to the sewers. I'm not gonna open it, it could just be a bandage. Probably it's just a bandage, it's pitch black. I should bring my flashlight before going down. Wait, right, so I've got a I've got a bandage. One bandage, that should do us. Oh, I thought that was it. Ah, oh, shit, I think my shoulder was broken. That was close now when you get out of this place and find help. These must be full of bacteria from the fall. I'm unsure about using them right now. Ooh, it's raining outside. Oh, nice. <clears throat> This is one of those good locks I won't be able to force open. Maybe squeeze your ass through the bars. Don't tell me there was like something to actually open that door. This side must lead to outside of the house. Hey kid, are you lo- Jesus Christ, what happened to you? They, they ate them. They wanted me to, but I got away. What are you talking about? Who are they? Who did this to you? The, the Tuckers. Tucker Farm. They're crazy. Shit, this doesn't look good. Get in the truck, I gotta get you to the hospital. Can you keep pressure on the wound? Yeah, yeah, I think. Just relax. Here, I'll turn on the radio. You're safe now. What if he kills him? No? Oh yeah, that was Carmel Abduction. Not bad. That's what, what I was usually say, but honestly, not bad game. A bit short, but I don't mind. Um, not the best. Um, pop the combo game, but still very enjoyable. Um. I think next episode, I'm gonna do Night of the Scissors. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, I'll do Night of the Scissors. I'll probably just pick it up straight after this video is um, done. And I'll make that its own separate video. But um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content today, 
want to see more videos like this, I'll leave links in the description as always. And I hope to see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye.